Today we're going to rank all of the best weapons in Alien Fireteam Elite and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to rank all of the top tier weapons in Alien Fireteam Elite from the S tier all the way down to a C tier. And if you guys want to see more Aliens Fire Team Elite content in a form of class builds, experience farming, official and family lore, news updates, and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Okay, so let me give you guys a little disclaimer. These rankings are primarily based on my opinion of the best weapons in the game prior to Season 1, so this video does not include the four new weapons. I will put a link in the description to the patch notes for the new Season 1 update if you guys would like to check that out. With that said, your ranking may be different or they could actually be the same. These weapons are good to use in the intense difficulty all of the way to the insane difficulty. Now, all of the important things for these weapons will be taken into consideration for these rankings. This includes damage fall off, accuracy, stability, damage, reload time, magazine capacity, max ammo, fire rate, stumble chance, and weak point damage. Handling bonus doesn't really matter because all of the weapons are at 0% base stats and all of these weapon rankings will be based off the base stats which means that we are not including any mods or attachments given that those are pretty much personal preference based on how you like to play. One thing to keep in mind with the stats is that the higher the number the better. However, this applies to everything except for reload time. When it comes to reload time, the lower number the better. This means that the weapon is faster to reload when it has a lower number. Also, just because the weapon's color is white at stock does not mean that it is a top tier weapon. We will go ahead and start with the S tier weapons first and work our way all the way down to the C tier. If there isn't a weapon on here, that is because I feel that it is actually below C tier and that is not including the season one weapons and truthfully anything below C tier isn't really worth your time. Upgrade them to four stars if you want, but I probably wouldn't do that unless you're a completionist. So let's get started. When it comes to the S tier weapons, they are the best of the best that you can actually use in Aliens Fireteam Elite. If you weren't using these weapons, then you are crazy and you are missing out on tons of damage. The first weapon in the S tier is the M41A2 Pulse Rifle. It is an automatic firing auto rifle it has an accuracy of 74, stability of 86, damage of 131, reload time of 2.0, max ammo of 540, stumble chance of 15%, fire rate of 10.5, it has a mag capacity of 60 with a weak point damage of 200%. The next S tier weapon is the L56A3 Smart Gun. It is an automatic firing machine gun. It has an accuracy of 99, stability of 83, damage of 110, reload time of 3.5, max ammo of 400, stumble chance of 5%, fire rate of 16.7, mag capacity of 200 with a weak point damage of 100%. The third weapon is the M37A3 pump shotgun. It is a single shot shotgun, it has an accuracy of 50, stability of 37, damage of 177, reload time of 0.29, max ammo of 80, stumble chance of 25%, fire rate of 1.3, mag capacity of 8, with a weak point damage of 150%. And the final S tier weapon is the Kramer 50 Magnum. It is a single shot hand cannon. It has an accuracy of 85, stability of 62, damage of 526, reload time of 2.3, max ammo of 100, stumble chance of 75%, fire rate of 2.6, mag capacity of 8, with a weak point damage of 250%. Next, let's go ahead and go over all of the A tier weapons. The A tier weapons are not the best weapons to use, but they are definitely a good alternative if you do not want to use one of the S tiers. These weapons are still better than the B and C tiered weapons and are a very good option if you want to mix things up. The first A tier weapon is the L36 Halberd. 
It is an automatic firing auto rifle. It has an accuracy of 79, stability of 85, damage of 110, reload time of 2.0, max ammo of 500, stumble chance of 8.5, fire rate of 12.9, mag capacity of 50, and a weak point damage of 200. Next, we have the M12A1 rocket launcher. It is a single shot heavy launcher. It has an accuracy of 67, stability of 60, damage of 1424, reload time of 2.8, max ammo of 30, stumble chance of 0%, fire rate of 1.2, mag capacity of 3, and it has a weak point damage of 150%. The Type 21 tactical shotgun is next. It is a single shot shotgun. It has an accuracy of 54, stability of 45, damage of 96, reload time of 2.0, max ammo of 96, stumble chance of 20%, fire rate of 2.2, mag capacity of 8, and a weak point damage of 150. Next, let's go ahead and move on to the M42A2 scout rifle. It is a single shot DMR. It has an accuracy of 90, stability of 72, damage of 613, reload time of 1.7, max ammo of 100, stumble chance of 60%, fire rate of 1.7, mag capacity of 10, and it has a weak point damage of 300%. A tier weapon is the Heirloom Standoff. It is a single shot shotgun. It has an accuracy of 42, Stability of 33, damage of 146, reload time of 0.3, and that is 0.3 per round that you load in. Max ammo of 75, stumble chance of 33%, fire rate of 1.7, mag capacity of 5, and it has a weak point damage of 155%. The next weapon is the Type 95 Combat Pistol. It is a single shot hand cannon. It has an accuracy of 81, Stability of 78, damage of 307, reload time of 106, max ammo of 240, stumble chance of 50%, fire rate of 4.4, mag capacity of 18, and it has a weak point damage of 250%. And the last weapon is the M39 submachine gun. It is an automatic firing SMG, it has an accuracy of 50. Stability of 61, damage of 153, reload time of 1.43, max ammo of 400, stumble chance of 5%, fire rate of 16.9, mag capacity of 48, and it has a weak point damage of 200%. Now, let's go ahead and go over all of the B tier weapons. The B tier weapons are decent weapons to use but they are not as good as the S or A tier weapons. These weapons you can use, I guess, if you're like bored and want like a challenge. The first B tier weapon is the M41A3 Burst Rifle. It is a burst firing DMR. It has an accuracy of 85, stability of 90, damage of 118, reload time of 2.0, max ammo of 480, stumble chance of 10%, Fire rate of 2.6, mag capacity of 60, with a weak point damage of 250%. Next, we have the M94 Impact Grenade. It is a single shot heavy launcher that has an accuracy of 62, stability of 61, damage of 1314, reload time of 2.4, max ammo of 40, stumble chance of 0%, fire rate of 1.7, mag capacity of 8 with a weak point damage of 150%. And the last B tier weapon is the X46 Ballista Flechette Rifle. It is a single shot sniper rifle. It has an accuracy of 92, stability of 70, damage of 788, reload time of 2.25, max ammo of 75, stumble chance of 100, fire rate of 1.3, mag capacity of 5 with a weak point damage of 300%. Now, the final tier we will be going over is the C tier. 
The C tier weapons are really here to just level them up and pretty much forget about them until they actually get a rework that is actually made viable. The first C tier weapon is the OCAP 91 Vulcan. It is a continuous firing flamethrower. It has an accuracy of 95, stability of 55, damage of 1606, reload time of 3.05, max ammo of 300, stumble chance of 5%, fire rate of 1.0, mag capacity of 100, and this weapon does not do any type of weak point damage. Now, yes, flamethrowers are good, but you don't really want to use a flamethrower around other people when you are doing those harder difficulties. That is why it is so low on this list, but it still is a good weapon. The next weapon is the Rapid Responder. It is an automatic firing riot gun. It has an accuracy of 38, stability of 35, damage of 92, reload time of 2.0, max ammo of 150, stumble chance of 25%, fire rate of 4.2, mag capacity of 14, and it has a weak point damage of 165%. Then we have the M10 auto pistol. It is an automatic firing machine pistol, which has an accuracy of 48, stability of 52, damage of 112, reload time of 1.2, max ammo of 480, stumble chance of 15%, fire rate of 27.5 and I think that is the highest on this list. Mag capacity of 40 with a weak point damage of 155%. And the last C tier weapon is the DT57 Medved. It is a single shot shotgun which has an accuracy of 57, stability of 35, damage of 153, reload time of 1.0, max ammo of 60, stumble chance of 30%, fire rate of 1.5, mag capacity of 2, and it has a weak point damage of 150%. Now, as I said earlier, if there isn't a weapon on this list, that is because I feel that it is below C tier and it really isn't worth your time, with the exclusion of the four new weapons that just came out a few days ago. So, when it comes to all those weapons that weren't mentioned, go ahead and upgrade them to four stars, but I probably wouldn't do that unless you're like a completionist. If you agree with this list, or if you would change any of the ranks of some of the weapons, let me know down in the comment section below. And now my friends, bring us to the end of the video. If you like the Alien Universe, come join the Everything Xenomorph Discord. Everyone is welcome. We are actually still under construction, but it definitely is coming along, and you can join early if you would like. You can make new friends, LFG in games like Aliens Fireteam Elite, talk about the movies, or show off all of your art or collectibles. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.